Today we're back looking at another microphone, another compact shotgun microphone. This one is from Lensgo, and we're gonna be comparing it against two other shotgun microphones, one of which is arguably the king of all shotgun microphones, the Rode Video Micro. So hang on, we'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Sam, welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. So I guess I've become a microphone reviewer. Um, <laughs> companies keep reaching out and wanting me to check out their microphones. And the main reason I still do it is because I'm still getting emails and comments from people saying they want to start creating content, uh, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and they want some gear recommendations. Uh, the other thing is, I've mentioned it before, any of the microphones that I review on the channel, they have to be accessible for the blind and visually impaired community. And these little camera mounted shotgun microphones are great because they don't have any dials or buttons and screens, anything like that, plug and play. So it's a great option for the VIP. But let's get into it. This is the Lensgo LYM DMM1. It is a cardioid style shotgun microphone compatible with cameras, smartphones, tablets, and computers. The nice thing about this is it doesn't require any batteries. It gets its power from plugging it directly into the camera or the smartphone or tablet or computer. In the box, you get the microphone along with a shock mount. You get a TRS cable to connect it to a camera. Then you also get a TRRS cable to connect it to a smartphone. And you get a cool bag, a nice little carrying bag with an image of the microphone on it. So as far as the design, it's very similar to all of these other uh, cardioid shotgun microphones, including the Rode Video Micro. Uh, the other one that I have that I'm going to be comparing it to is a Godox microphone, shotgun microphone, very similar. Basically looks like a cylinder. Uh, I guess if you were to take it off, it kind of looks like a little flashlight or maybe a lipstick. Very well made though. Uh, it's noticeably heavier than the other two microphones. And now that's not necessarily going to t equate into better quality, but it feels a higher quality. One thing I will say right away, I noticed the shock mount is a little bit stiffer, uh, much more stiff than the other two microphones, the Rode Video Micro and the Godox microphone. Something else I'll mention that I love about the Lensgo microphone is the cables. Well, one thing is they feel very thin, much thinner than the other cables I've gotten with the other microphones. But one thing I love, especially with the TRRS cable here that you use for a smartphone, is that the two ends are different. Um, this one has a 90 degree plug and this one is just a straight plug. So for visually impaired person like myself, there's no question which plug goes into the microphone and which plug goes into the smartphone. The other thing is the camera cable is spiral and the smartphone cable is not. Yet again, another great tactile difference uh, that's going to make it easy for me to tell them apart. Now let's jump into the comparison. Um, first of all, all the audio you've heard so far today in this video is from the new Lensgo DMM1 shotgun microphone. I've got it plugged into my Canon mirrorless camera. And uh, if you know anything about Canon, they don't have the best preamps built into cameras. So keep that in mind when you're listening to it. Um, I'm going to plug up all three of these microphones and do a little audio sample so you guys will be able to hear all three and compare the three. And then I'm gonna take the camera outside so that we can hear some outside noise and get a test that way with all three microphones and compare them there. And as far as the settings in the camera, I'm not gonna change a thing. The only thing I will do is in post, I usually have to boost the gain a little bit on my recordings. Uh, because of those preamps in the Canon camera. So if I do that, I will just make sure that all three microphone clips, uh, both indoor and outdoor, are set to the same gain. So you'll be able to hear if one is a little bit quieter than the others, or a little bit louder, or a little bit hissy or tinny, all of that. Okay, well, 
Once again, this is the LensGo DMM1 microphone, shotgun microphone. I am about three feet away from the camera, one meter, or away from the microphone, I guess I should say. And this is how it sounds in my studio here. Nice quiet environment. The room isn't exactly treated for sound. Okay, let's throw on the Rode Video Micro and see how that sounds. Okay, now we have the Rode Video Micro shotgun microphone on top of the camera. This is how it sounds here in my studio. Uh, as before, the camera and the microphone are about three feet, about a meter away from me. Just talking at a normal level here in my quiet room. So see how that sounds. Something else I should mention is that all three microphones are naked, I guess you could say. There's no wind protection on the microphones here in my studio. When we go outside though, I will be putting on the wind protection out there. But yeah, that's it. This is the Rode Video Micro. How does it sound? Does it sound any better? We'll see you later. All right, let's throw on the Godox. And now we have the Godox shotgun microphone. Um, I don't recall the actual model number of this one, but I've done a video about this one before where I compared it to the Rode Video Micro. I'll put a link to that popping out of the screen right now, or a link to that video will be in the description down below. So this is the Godox microphone, still same distance, three feet away, still in the same room, talking at the same level, haven't changed anything at all. The microphone also, once again, it doesn't have any kind of wind protection. Um, and yeah, so this is it, the Godox. How does it sound? Does it compare? Is it better, worse? I guess we'll find out here in a little bit. I'm gonna listen to all of the different samples after I go outside and I will come back at the end and give you my final thoughts on the LensGo shotgun microphone and see how it compares. Um, as I said though, build quality and all that, I really like it. Hopefully it sounds good. Okay, let's head on outside and we'll do our test out there. Okay guys, now for the outdoor test. Uh, once again, I have the new LensGo microphone on the camera. The camera is about four to four and a half feet away from me. Um, we're in my backyard, so not a ton of like street noise out here. There's a little bit. Uh, even though it's almost January, the birds are out. They think it's spring because it's so warm. So you probably hear them. And there's a little bit of wind, not too much. I do have the wind muff on the microphone. I forgot to mention that it does come with a wind muff or a wind protector. It's very large. Um, it's kind of a mix between a dead cat and just a regular foam wind protector. It's kind of like if these two had a baby, that's what you would get. I'm not crazy about it. It looks a little bulbous, a little bit silly, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the LensGo. Let's check out the Rode Video Micro and see how that compares in this environment. All right, now we're recording with the Rode Video Micro on top of the camera, still in the same environment, about four to four and a half feet away from the camera and the microphone. How does this sound? Does it sound any better out here? Is the voice clearer? Uh, is there more ambient noise that you can hear with this microphone versus the last one? Can you hear the trucks off in the distance over there? I'll talk more about it at the end of the video when I do the wrap up, but one thing to note is the Rode Video Micro, this microphone here, is much more expensive so, does it sound like a better, higher quality, more expensive microphone? I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's switch over to the Godox and see how that performs. All right, we've got a helicopter going over now. All right, so this is the Godox, the third of the microphones. Uh, everything's the same, haven't changed anything, just to switch the microphone. So, same environment, although we've got the helicopter going. It's over there somewhere. Uh, so that's a little bit louder, but other than that, uh, there's still a light breeze out here. The Godox does have its little wind muff. It's just a very small foam wind protector. I'm trying to vlog down here. But yeah, so this is it. This is the Godox. How does it sound? How does it compare? Probably not a fair comparison because we've got helicopter over here. All right, it's leaving. So we're gonna take the camera back inside, back up to the studio, and we will do a listen. I'm gonna to listen to all the different samples and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. 
Okay guys, we are back in the studio and once again we have the Lens Go microphone, the DMM1 microphone, shotgun microphone on the camera. And I had a chance to check out the videos, the comparison videos between all three microphones, both in here in the studio and outside. And I gotta say, there wasn't a very large difference or a big difference between all three. Very minor differences. Um, one thing that was a little surprising to me was how quiet the Rode Video Micro was compared to the other two. I'd say the LensGo was the best sounding one with the Godox uh, being equally as loud as or as bright as the LensGo, but letting in a lot of ambient noise as well. Uh, and then the Rode Video Micro being the quietest one, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when the microphone is quiet like that, I, it just means they have to boost it a little bit more in the editing software. And with Canon cameras, if you boost your microphone, your gain of your, of your microphone, then you're also boosting the background noise and the hissing and the humming and the buzzing, all those little noises that you don't want in your audio. You're also increasing those as well. Uh, so having the lens go here sounding much louder, sounding much more bright, uh, it means we won't have to boost as much, and that's good. That's a very good thing. Now, as far as quality, I didn't hear anything that really jumped out at me one way or the other. All three basically sounded very, very similar. But you guys let me know in the comments which one you like the best. For me personally, since I couldn't really tell a big difference in quality, um, and the lens go was louder than the Rode Video Micro and didn't seem to let in as much ambient noise as the Godox does. I'm thinking the lens go microphone is definitely the winner here, especially when you take into consideration price. So here's the big thing here, guys. The Rode Video Micro, take the windsock off here, the Rode Video Micro, $59.99, right around $60. The Go Docs here, also $59.99, $60. The Lens Go, which is on the camera, we're listening to that right now, $35. Almost half the price of these guys, and in my opinion, sounded better. At least similar enough that makes sense to save $25 and get the Lens Go rather than the more expensive Rode Video Micro where it's clear that maybe some of the price of this is basically the name. You're buying the name brand. Plus, I think the build quality seemed better. It was heavier. Um, it just seemed a little bit more premium in hand than the other two microphones. So there you go, guys. Um, a huge thank you to LensGo for sending this microphone to me. Now, I will say, disclaimer, they didn't pay me to do this video. They did send the microphone out to me for free, but no money changed hands, and they're not paying me to say anything special about it. It's all my, strictly my opinion. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good find. Uh, if you guys would like more information about LensGo, the microphone, I will have links in the description down below, including an Amazon link, which is an affiliate link. And so if you make a purchase through that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps out the channel very, very small, <laughs> very small amount. So I would appreciate that. And stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna be reviewing the LensGo. I don't know what this one is. LVW318C, which is a lavalier style microphone from LensGo. Uh, they sent this out to me as well. Stay tuned for a video about that. If you need anything else from me, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help out. Like, subscribe, all of that. You, you know what to do. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching Sam with the Blind Life. I'll see you next time.